tutorial is for users of Romeca motorized pulleys in food processing and unit material handling applications. This lesson applies to our range of motorized pulleys with diameters from 3.15 inches to 6.5 inches. We will cover why Romeca motorized pulleys contain oil, how to check it, and when and how to change it. All Romeca motorized pulleys are supplied with an appropriate quantity of oil, which is shown on the motor data plate, as you can see here. The type of oil is dependent on the motor configuration and the application. When maintaining a Romeca motorized pulley, be sure to match the quantity and specification of the factory supplied oil. When in doubt, contact Romeca Corporation and give us the product serial number. It can be found on the end of the shaft as shown here. Be sure to take special care when changing oil brands or specifications because of the possibility of oil incompatibility. Contact your local oil supplier for assistance on that matter. The purposes of the oil are to continuously cool the motor and to lubricate all gears and all bearings. Synthetic, mineral, food grade, low viscosity and high viscosity oils are all available. Under normal operating conditions, with a motorized pulley running continuously under full load, synthetic oil or food grade synthetic oil should be changed after every 50,000 operating hours. Mineral oil should be changed after every 20,000 operating hours. To check the oil quantity, use your company's lockout tagout procedures and then rotate the pulley until the two oil drain holes are at the four o'clock and 10 o'clock positions as shown here. We have both full stainless steel IP69 and carbon steel construction available. This procedure is valid for both configurations. Remove the lower oil plug, and when properly full, the oil level should be approximately at the bottom of the lower hole. You can either look through the lower hole or use a clean wooden stick like a dipstick to verify that oil is at the bottom of the lower hole. To check the condition of the oil, remove an oil sample from the lower hole and examine its condition. The oil's cleanliness is always the best guideline regarding the wear and condition of gears and bearings and whether to change the oil or delay the oil change. Note that the actual quantity of the oil for a given pulley model and face width may vary with motor power and shell profile. Therefore, it's essential to determine the actual quantity of the oil required prior to beginning the changing of the oil. To change the oil, simply rotate the pulley until the drain holes are at the six o'clock and 12 o'clock positions as shown here. Then place a bucket beneath the lower oil hole and remove both plugs to allow the pulley to drain and vent. Note that it may be necessary to tilt the pulley in order to completely drain the oil. To refill the oil, replace the lower oil plug after wiping off any sludge and residue from the oil plug magnet and wrapping the threads with Teflon tape. Pour an appropriate amount of oil through the upper hole, either using an oil pump or a funnel and measuring bucket. Finally, replace the upper oil plug after wiping off any sludge and residue from the oil plug magnet and wrapping the threads with Teflon tape. We hope that you found this short tutorial useful. For more tips on conveyor drive design and maintenance, go to RomecaCorp.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.